and, and in honor of, of, of this day, it's been, plan been in the works for quite some time. Um, I can stand here and honestly tell you I have no idea what this thing is going to look like. Um, we've never done anything like this before. But uh, in honor of 40 years of service as a deacon uh, and living to tell about it, is a, is a huge deal. There's a lot to go on there. So uh, we wanted to celebrate that. Um, and there's a couple folks who I asked Brother Caddy and Brother Ann if there was some folks that they would like to uh, invite here today to mark this special occasion. And there was uh, two folks in particular that they asked uh, to come. One is, is Reverend Neil Jackson. And, and Brother Neil was the, correct me if I'm wrong, he was the pastor that ordained you 40 plus years ago, right? Okay, well I did reach out to him and boy he tried everything he could try to get here. Uh, he simply it was too far. He's 86 years old. He's not in very good health. And even up till Friday morning he called me and said, I'm still trying to come. I'm still trying. So he very much wanted to be here to be part of this but unfortunately was not able to make it. Um, uh, another fellow that he wanted us to inv invite was Brother Keith Johnson who was a pastor here from 91 to 93. Is that right? Okay, and, and he is here today. Him and his wife, Jill, are here. And he's going to come up and share a few words uh, in just a moment. But before we do that, there's one other person that I, I do want to say. Sends her regrets that she can't be here. That's Miss Earlene Pressy. Uh, it is killing her that she can't be here today. <laughs> she really, really desperately wanted to be here. In fact, Thursday she was in there helping to decorate this uh, the fellowship hall. Uh, and she wanted me to make sure she told you she was sorry she's not here. But she's thinking of you and praying for you today and, and loves you very much. So, um, As we begin, folks, let's begin with this with a word of prayer, and then I'm going to ask Brother Keith if he'd come up here and share some words with us. But, uh, Father, we're thankful for the gift of today. What a blessing it is uh, to be able to enjoy fellowship with one another. And God, as we celebrate you and your lordship over our lives and over your church, God, we celebrate uh, one individual today. We celebrate Brother Kenny Collins and his service, his faithful service to his family, to his church, and his faithful service to you and your son's lordship in his life. God, we're so thankful to have in our fellowship a man who honors you with the things he says, the things he does, and, and the actions he takes. Now God, as we partake of this celebration, Lord, we just pray for your presence to be upon us. Help us to enjoy his presence, enjoy his love, and help us to love on him. But above all, let us honor you and give you thanks for all the blessings in our lives. God, we love you and we thank you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Brother Kate. Well, it is a privilege to be invited back to Rocky Ford. I uh, have some wonderful memories of uh, my years here. And uh, very promptly when, uh, when we arrived, uh, my ball of gnats uh, came and uh, greeted us. So uh, it's good to know that uh, you're not forgotten, that's for sure. No, uh, to stand and speak uh, on behalf of uh, Kenneth Collins is uh, quite a privilege. I uh, think back over the years of my ministry here and think of Kenny and Ann and uh, uh, several things come to mind. First of all, uh, our many fish fries uh, down at your camp. We would uh, gather and uh, uh, what, what a wonderful opportunity to uh, uh, just be uh, pampered by uh, our, our church members and uh, the Collins family and uh, always gracious, always kind, always giving. Uh, he even uh, had the... Um, Courage, I guess you would say, to take me hunting. Uh, I, I don't know how uh, good a student I was, but uh, he, he was a, an excellent teacher. I'll never forget one morning, uh, it was before uh, sunrise, and uh, uh, I was taken to a particular stand, and um, I was told now... Uh, you know, stay here and uh, look for the deer and I'll come back and get you in two hours. And uh, I'll never forget that particular morning. Uh, uh, I could hear them yell, 
after a couple of hours had uh, gone by. And since we had gone in before sunrise, uh, I got lost. And uh, so uh, it um, took a group coming to get me to uh, find my way back. But uh, I uh, will always count uh, Kenny Collins a friend. I uh, will never forget uh, standing here one Sunday morning and uh, your mom and dad were, were seated on, on the front pew here. And uh, I know that the faith that uh, they certainly fostered in you and your, their children and grandchildren, and I know that you have fostered the same faith in your children and grandchildren. And uh, that's one of the joys of uh, being a former pastor and being asked to uh, return. I want to say congratulations. And uh, I can tell you uh, many a deacon's meeting uh, we would uh, gather and uh, the wisdom as well as the practicality of uh, a man like Kenny Collins is uh, certainly appreciated. Probably the biggest memory I have is just sitting on your back porch and us visiting. Uh, that's where pastor and people become close. And I can remember uh, many times uh, sit, sitting on your back porch there and uh, uh, just getting to know who you were and uh, uh, getting to meet your family and... Uh, what a tremendous blessing that is. So uh, thank you for the invitation this morning. Thank you for the opportunity to serve this church. And uh, may God certainly continue to bless. No doubt. Amen. As I was thinking about what I wanted to say today, I, I came across Colossians 3.17, and I thought this would be a, an appropriate verse to, to share. It's on the bulletin board. By the way, if you haven't seen it on your way in, go check out the awesome pictures uh, on this bulletin board. Got some great pictures out there. Brother Kenny won't embarrass you too bad, right? Uh, some older pictures of old apparel and, and, and some newer pictures as well. But as we were doing that, Carrie asked me, she said, uh, What's a good Bible verse to put on here? What's, what, what's a good verse? And I, I went to Colossians 3.17. It says, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Um, and, I, and I share that with you because about two months into my pastorate here, this is my very first pastorate, young pastor coming in, first church, all excited. One of the things that made me nervous coming here was that deacons serve here for a lifetime. Uh, and, and there was a deacon that had been serving as a deacon for longer than I had been alive. Literally. Uh, in fact, we had a couple of them. And two months into my very first pastorate, I get a phone call from Dan Rock. He's saying, I just talked to Brother Kenny, and Brother Kenny wants to step down as a deacon. And my heart dropped. I said, oh, sweet Jesus, what have I done? I done drove off a man who's been a deacon here for 40 years. What could I possibly do? So I called up Brother Kenny, and I asked him, I said, are you okay? He said, yes, I'm fine. And he shared something with me. He said, you know, I've been serving as a deacon here for an awful long time, and I just feel like I need to be a bigger part of my family's life. I need to be able to go to church with my kids and my grandkids. I need to be freed up to do that and step down and give somebody else an opportunity to serve. Now, personally, I'm, whew, I'm for, thank you, Jesus. Okay, I didn't drive him off. But that speaks volumes to the character and integrity of Kenny Collins. Volumes about who he is and how he serves his God. For 40 plus years, an active deacon in the church. Unheard of. That's huge, a huge commitment. And he faithfully did that. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. As I said in my sermon today, 
sharing a little bit about him. He feels led in a different direction right now. That to be the man of God that God has created him to be, he needs to spend some time with his wife and his kids and his grandkids. And that's where he needs to focus his energy. So we celebrate. I, I, we could not go today without celebrating his life and his service. And Miss Ann, you as well. Because 40 years as a deacon's wife is no easy task either, is it? I could probably get an amen out of that one. But uh, So we celebrate the both of you. Um, so at this time, what, I, what I'd like you to do, can you both come forward here? We've got a gift. Uh, Miss, Ann, Miss Ann, Mr. Kenny, we've got a gift. And boy, we struggled with a gift now, didn't we? We, we wanted to get you something nice. We wanted to get you something that uh, was significant and meant something. Um, but we didn't want to just give you a gift that was going to collect dust and sit on a wall or a plaque or anything like that. We wanted it to be substantial. So uh, let me ask you guys to stand right here in the middle and face that way. I'm going to bring it out. Everybody else is going to see your gift before you do. So. <laughs> We wanted to get you some. Oh, some Facebook. <laughs> we wanted to get you something nice, something that you've been asking for. Uh, probably not the most spiritual of gifts, <laughs> but on behalf of Rocky Ford Baptist Church, <laughs> we love you. Thank you very much. And I'll sit 